Hi everyone. I look for a lot of the different secrets and mysteries from all around the world, looking for the coming of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, Emmanuel, the Son of God, who was raised from the dead and took all the sins of the world away. Now the world elite, the Illuminati, the Freemasons, and even the spiritual realms that are all around us, they leave their signs and secrets right in front of us, in symbolism. And on our channel, we bring all this back to the Word of God and show how we're nearing the end of days. Today is Wednesday, March 11th, 2015, and we're going to check out some things about this CERN project, the CERN Hadron Collider. If you look right up here on the CERN image, you can see that it has a 666 right on there, just as in the Bible for the Antichrist beast that rises and comes from the abyss. Well, there has been some claims that the CERN Hadron Collider will start to be cranked up this month of March 2015 and some information is coming out that it will start to be cranked up actually on the 13th March 13th which is a Friday the 13th well this is all going right along by the script of the Bible and the Illuminati and everything are preparing to give the key to open the abyss to the angel from the bottomless pit of Revelation 9 in Revelation 9 11 this is the king of the Illuminati and Freemasons and such and they had a king over them which is the angel of the bottomless pit whose name in the Hebrew tongue is Abaddon but in the Greek tongue hath his name Apollyon that's the king of the Illuminati this guy and the fifth angel sounded and I saw a star fall from heaven unto the earth and to him was given the key of the bottomless pit 666 ready to open up the abyss and let the beasts of hell loose and the locusts and such all through there see there the fifth angel there he is see the five the fifth angel the king of the Illuminati is this clown looking figure this does not mean that he's a fool the clown is a mask he can be anybody he's a spirit he comes down on the red side and brings idol worship that's what he's about this eagle is granted to the woman of the Bible, the wise virgins with Jesus Christ, for them to go to the wedding feast of the Lamb. And then he comes to trick the world. Jesus Christ lets him have 42 months to trick the world. Three and a half years, he will try to deceive everybody and bring everybody he can away from Jesus Christ to the idol worship, which has a lot to do with Islam. See the cube of Islam right there? That's why in Islam they must bow and pray to Allah five times per day. The five times, because this is Allah. This is not Jehovah. Allah has no son. On the top of every single mosque written in Arabic it says, Allah has no son. Literally. All of Islam is prepared just as an antichrist religion. They believe Jesus Christ was just a prophet. Well, that doesn't get you into heaven. You have to confess with your mouth the Lord is Jesus and believe in your heart that God hath risen him from the dead, that Jesus is the Son of God. All of Islam is prepared for him, the five, just like that. Well, the CERN seems to have an awful lot to do with this key that opens the abyss. Now, I wanted to show something here. I keep showing that this is as a balance. In other words, if you want to go to heaven, this actually has to happen. Yes, Jesus' people leave as he comes. It's all a perfect balance. Jesus isn't going to stop this and then just bring all of his people to heaven and, and not let the great tribulation happen. It's all going to happen. This is where the CERN facility is, right here. See right here? 461403, right there. This basic building is the, the control center. CERN is very big, but this is the basic control center. This is what the Satan figure looks like, just like in the Prometheus movie. He comes with these types of urns, which are exactly as Pandora's box, right there, ready to be opened. And do you see how he's bringing this big idol? See the big idol right there? It's all about idol worship. He's called the idol shepherd. There he is. You see how all of these little jars are like worshiping this big idol? Well, he's shown coming right through the abyss, just like this. Exactly. And God have mercy on us all. All of the earth maps these things out. He's sitting right there. I'm not kidding. He is literally sitting right there. He is flying his ship, 
and he has a giant serpent right here as the idol. In the Bible it says when the serpent comes, then everything's going to be done. Do you see the big serpent? Right there, perfectly by the lines. Do you see it now, coming through the abyss? See, perfect by the lines, right there. It's the end of the time of the dog. Do you see this dog right here? This represents grace and mercy and like having your Lamb of God. Do you see the Hydra? Exactly like in the TV shows. This stuff is even in the TV shows. Like Captain America, the last Captain America movie, it showed that this Hydra was taking over all of the United States government and all of the world governments and they want to get rid of the side of the blue. See the blue? They don't want the blue around anymore. They want the red. The red of the serpent coming. See how it's going eating this dog? There's the beast right there. See him right here? Like this alien looking figure? And they will be made to worship the image of the beast. I'll show you that crystal skull. See right here on this ancient glyph of Akhenaten? Remember from Abraham to Jesus went to Egypt. Moses was taken out from underneath the burdens of Egypt. All of these map out the end of days. There comes the clown with the V for the fifth age. The key to open the abyss. Going to go through Obama. Nuke part of the USA. It's the millstone if caught that the angel cast down. There will be a great earthquake. The CERN will be opened. The abyss will be opened. And the locust will come through. You see up here with a bear rising. But there's that head. See this crystal skull? They will be made to make an image of the beast. See the crystal skull? See the beast right there. There he is. There. And then they will get the mark of the beast on their forehead. Way over here. Even with Russia rising and stuff. God have mercy. This is the new type of Eucharist they will be giving out with the mark of the beast. And it will have these little worms in it. You see all of these down here are considered like Pandora's box. Pandora's box was also seen as an urn. You see these urns? And they had a worm in it, like a snake. And it will go inside the human being, and the snake will now be in charge of the human host. Yes, that's real. Watch this. The Freemasons had a series of paintings painted by Peter Waddell, all mapping out the end times coming, like their vision boards. And they're all mapped out in a history event. This right here shows the thing. This character in the red is the Satan figure. See how he's sitting on top of the earth? George Washington is the father figure. See how he's sitting on this globe and it looks like a woman's hair? The Pallades, the seven angels, the seven sisters, the seven golden candlesticks, the seven angels of God that are in one spot held in Jesus' right hand. You can actually see Jesus as a shadow right here with these lights all coming down into the Pallades. Over here is Obama with Satan on the earth. Do you see what getting ready to happen? It says in the Bible that God's foot, Jesus' foot, will be bruised and the head of the serpent will be bruised and this urn will be opened. See the urn? The Pandora's box? See the gallows over here? After this guy gets up, see how he's standing up and he's going right inside of Obama? And then right there will be no more grace and mercy then the only way in through the Father and into heavenly areas is through the guillotines when the urn is opened. There's the urns. There's the idol shepherd coming. There he is. He's in a big ship right here as he comes through the abyss. Right there. Let's do the whole thing. Just like this. He's called the little horn of the Bible coming through. There he is, sitting right in there in his ship with the big serpent on the back, the idol. See, it's perfect by the roads, even the serpent. So there you go. Do we know an hour or a time or a date? We do not know. May God have mercy on us all. They say it's firing up on the 13th. Here's another mural by the Freemasons showing the USA destroyed. And back here you can see a 13. 
That does not mean it has to be a Friday the 13th. It could be the Revelation 13 beast that rises out of the sea. But this is all perfect by scripture. Ten horns represent ten nations that will betray the USA. There is Miss Obama fallen, and the time of the blue is over. And now the red rises. The fifth age. The fifth angel. With the idol and the urns of the worms, as I keep showing. And there's the serpent, exactly as it says in the Bible. As the serpent comes through the abyss, basically coming after the woman, we will be granted the wings of an eagle to be caught away. And then he will be off and rampaging the earth. Right there, right in front of us. Thank you very much, everybody. This is real. May God have mercy on us all. Hallelujah.